you have to differentiate f of x equals x squared plus 2 divided by x squared minus 4. Solution. So in this problem, we have to use the quotient rule. So f over g. And if you differentiate this, there's a formula. You get the derivative of the first times the second minus the first piece times the derivative of the second piece. f prime g minus f g prime. All divided by little g squared. All right, so now we have to take derivatives. So let's do it. So the derivative of f, well, it's a fraction. The derivative of the first piece, the derivative of this here, that's the first piece, is 2x times the second piece, so x squared minus 4, minus the first piece, so x squared plus 2, times the derivative of the second piece, so times 2x all divided by x squared minus 4, and that quantity is being squared. Let's check this. We took the derivative of the first piece, or the top piece, so we got 2x times the second, or the bottom piece, so that's correct, uh, minus the first piece, which we have here, times the derivative of this, which we have here. So everything looks okay. Let's distribute and clean it up. So we get 2x cubed, right, because 2x times x squared is 2x cubed, the negative 8x minus 2x cubed minus 4x minus 4x all divided by x squared minus 4 quantity squared. Let's see, does anything cancel? Yep, the 2's go away and looks like we're left with negative 12x. So the final answer is the derivative of f is equal to negative 12x divided by x squared minus 4 quantity squared. And that's it. That's how you leave your answer. You generally do not multiply out what's in the denominator. It's more helpful to leave it as is.